Hello! Ooh, lots more space than usual, because I'll be showing some physically large items. To wit, the big statues that you get with collector's editions of video games, for it's that time. Screen goes dark. Screen goes light. Screen goes dark. Screen goes light. Ah, auto camera settings that you can't bloody turn off. Anyway, more to the point, I'm going to be breaking with the tradition slightly in this video, and I don't just mean doing away with that uh, running gag where the jiffy bag falls down, I won't be doing that, but I've also broken the tradition because two of the items in this video I actually bought myself because I wanted them. <gasps> actually, that's not true. <laughs> Thinking about it, I only bought one because I wanted it, I bought the other one just to support the company in the game. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? With that item indeed. Bang! Dark Souls 2 Man. As I call him, Man from Dark Souls 2. Yes, Dark Souls was probably, in fact definitely, come to think of it, my favourite video game ever. I very rarely play one game for a very long period of time, but I must have put something like 400, 500 hours into it. Unbelievable. I also loved the precursor, Demon Souls. So when they announced Dark Souls 2, I thought I shall give them some cash and pre-order the most expensive version of the game. <clears throat> Actually turned out to be not that expensive because Amazon had it uh, only £10 more than the normal version, but that's not the point. Look at the big plastic statue that I didn't really like the look of. And indeed I don't like it that much in real life either. And it's not a bad thing, it's got very intricate detailing, the paint's good on it. Although disappointingly, this guy sort of has no face. Um, and come to think of it, yeah, the old uh, animal pelt here on the shoulders is the weak spot, because it just looks like something that's been sculpted and, um, you know, dry brushed, doesn't look as sort of realistic as the rest. But it's not a bad thing, is it? There he is, dual wielding his long swords, about to go into a power stance, doubtless. The big thing that lets it down, actually, is the stand, which is rubbish. Um, it's supposed to be, I don't know, what's the larvae place in it? Iron Keep? But it's just kind of glossy finished low detail, bad paint job, and doesn't fit with the rest at all. But the big problem with it really is it's not actually particularly anything to do with Dark Souls 2. They use this character constantly in all the um, pre-release advertising and stuff. Doesn't appear in the game at all, it's just like, here's a character you can play. You can find his armour and dress up as it if you want, but to my knowledge that character doesn't appear anywhere, unless he, I don't know, invades as a red phantom during New Game Plus. I don't know, I haven't quite reached that far yet. But overall, yeah, a bit disappointing really, just a big lump of something that's quite pretty but not really that connected with the game and, you know, it's, it's not bad for a video game statue but it's not marvellous either. But now, oh, here's the one I really wanted. The Japanese collector's edition of the game comes with this. An actual wooden box with a metal clasp, turn it so it isn't upside down, and you can see Proper embossed um, sigil on it. Ooh. Open up the metal clasp, and inside are actual metal die cast replicas of some of the items in the game. Now, this is more like it. Proper metal. See? Solid noises. Nicely finished, nicely detailed, feel really solid in the hand. Sort of thing you see on the wall around your grandparents' house, except they would probably be historical things as opposed to weird mythical things. The only thing that lets these down slightly, I'll show you actually, um, the back of the shields, I mean, the shields are beautifully done, you know, properly weathered and uh, made and all that. Unfortunately the strap on the back is just a crappy piece of plastic and sticks out a mile. But hey, that doesn't matter, because you're not actually going to see them that often. God, imagine having to carry this in real life, it'd pull your bloody arm off, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's them, and that's a really beautiful thing, one of the nicest things I think I've ever seen in the collector's editions of video games genre. Oh. The only slightly disappointing thing is I haven't really managed to get into Dark Souls 2 as much as the first one, it just hasn't quite clicked with me the same way. I was really enjoying it up until about 40 hours in, then it became a bit of a chore. And I'm right at the end of the game now, and I'm actually looking for excuses not to play it, because I'm very fucking bored with it, I'm going to be honest. Um, the problem is, I don't know, the game mechanics are better than they've ever been, but there's something a bit lacking in the level designs and that. There's an awful lot of lack of weird, interesting stuff, and just, here's some more men in armour, some of which are really big. And yeah, I've kind of lost interest, and that's kind of sad. I don't know, maybe I'll complete it and get really into New Game Plus or something. We'll see how it runs, because the online stuff seems to work better for starters, but hey, that's life. Now, from a great game to an absolutely fucking terrible game. Remember this one? Aliens Colonial Marines! 
It was in development for about 40 years and then it came out as hideously rushed and unfinished. Yay! It's one of those things the media really savaged and I thought, oh, it can't be that bad, surely. It bloody was. I mean, it really is blatantly unfinished and crap. Right, what do you get then? You get four movie characters. Ripley's flamethrower, believe it or not. Yeah, she seems to be marketing her own flamethrowers now. Additional marine customization. You can give them funny beards. Academy firing. Sonic electric ball breakers? Really? Ball breakers? Oh, fuck off, God. Right, let's have a look at the statue then. Maybe they can redeem themselves slightly by giving a nice collectible. Somehow... I very much doubt they will, but one never knows. Oh, there's stuff in the side, what is this? Um, oh, look, it's classified documents. Uh, the feelies, as we used to call them back in the day. Go on. Oh, I've ripped that up a treat. I didn't realise this was in here, to be honest with you. What do you get? A fake photo, Polaroid thing. Yeah, we will still be using them in the future, I'm sure. Um, USCM military patches. Oh, I like those. Well done, you've just earned yourself 20 points. Right, put them over there for future use. And paper. Yeah, see, this is what they thought the future would look like in the 70s. Didn't really pan out like that. Um, some sort of uh, dropship blueprint. Reminds of the old Action Force vehicles. Be the face of your country. US Colonial Marines. No, they're just people who get shot, generally. This is satisfying. Someone has satisfying colonial marine academy trainers graduate with honours. Tremendous. Well, I should put those to one side and see if my friend who really likes aliens wants those. Oh no! I've knocked the camera! We're doomed! It's all right. I think we'll live. Right. Oh god, I've knocked over something else now. The whole place is going down. Save us, power loader driving marine person. Oh god, that took some doing. Well, <clears throat> that's not that bad, I suppose. The, the power loader's done quite nicely. The Alien has a lot of gloopy paint over it. They've really overdone that, unfortunately, but it's not terrible. The Marine, I'm going to be honest here, is pretty terrible. I don't know if you can make his face out, but he appears to be Homer Simpson. Um, the paint on him is awful. They've just slathered on a load of pink with very little detail, which is a shame. And the whole thing's a bit stupid, really. I mean, they're trying to recreate the iconic scene in Aliens, where uh, Ripley fucks up the uh, mother alien with a power loader. And But now, for seemingly no reason whatsoever, there's a marine in one, so you can have a uh, statue of it. It doesn't really make any sense. He's even got a gun. Look. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, that's one of the controls. I take that back. But the alien's unimpressed and is about to eat Homer's face off. Mm. It's not a bad thing, but it's really let down by the characters. And a bit like that Lord of the Rings um, troll that I looked at bloody years ago. That um, The troll was really nice, but the dwarf figure with it was a bit crap. Also, worryingly, it does remind you of the game on the bottom, but hey, it's not a terrible thing. It's much better than the game turned out, let's face it. Right, it's time for some more Space Marines, because you can never have too much of them unless you have some that you don't want. Welcome to Gears of War! Collector's Edition. I can't remember which Gears of War this is. I, just, I seem to remember it was Gears of War 3, but I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest, I picked this up in a second-hand shop for no money whatsoever. Um, the box is beautiful, incidentally. It's actually rubberized. Really nice. And we're showing here the Dr. Adam Phoenix for service to humanity. He's been given like a cog medal. Good for him. Dr. Adam Phoenix. Some relation to... Um, Oh god, what's his name? Marcus Phoenix, the main bloke from the game, I would assume. Is his dad or something? His dad was a doctor? Surely his dad was a steroided up bodybuilder like everyone else in the universe. Maybe that's what Adam Phoenix looks like. He's just like a huge bloke with no neck, but wearing a white coat and maybe a pair of glasses. Anyway, um, enough of this. Never liked Gears of War myself, it always seemed a bit dull, and the character design was fucking ludicrous. But hey, we don't care, we've got a big metal cog. Oh, this thing is really nice! Bloody hell, it's like a big solid piece of metal, it's beautifully finished. Really good. Property of Coalition of Ordered Governments, and some sort of... It looks like a DLC code on there, I assume that's been used. Hang on. If you want to try your luck, enter that into your Xbox 360 and see what happens. Oh, that's a really nice thing, and it comes in a cool box, right? You've got a lot of points for that. In you go. Don't want to lose it. Turn it over. And what else do we have? We have a thing. That's good. It tells us how to play the game, presumably using a controller and not our minds. Oh, look, a flag, so you can drape it over a coffin or something and pretend you've killed somebody from Gears of War. Fairly cool. And, oh, we've got some feelies. Go on, then. Metal cog was enough, to be honest, guys. 
Marcus, I realise words won't help at a time like this. Yours ever, Dad. Oh my God! So this is from Adam F AJ F R E S. So Adam Phoenix is Marcus Phoenix's dad and not his brother or something. Fair enough. Um, we've got fake weather documents done really well actually. A schematic of a something looks suspiciously like a satellite. That's really nicely done actually. They've done some top weathering work on that. Oh, we've got pictures of an. Oh my God. <laughs> I was fucking joking. Right, that's a doctor, is it? That's what. I'd, so everybody in that universe is like the world's biggest bodybuilder. Is there an explanation for that in the canon? Oh fuck off! So that is that is doctor. And I, I hate to break this to you, but doctors don't generally look like that. Good God! Oh, and here he is with a miserable old man who's slightly less steroided up than him, and there he is, receiving the item you've got here. Tremendous, blimey! Crikey O'Reilly. And the Oxus Medal is hereby awarded to Professor Adam Phoenix. And here's a slightly translucent piece of papery stuff. Marvellous. And more bloody paper. What's this one? Oh, the last will and testament. They really do care a lot about this character, don't they? I'm pretty sure nobody gives a flying shit about the plot to Gears of War. They just want to shoot some aliens. But there we are. That's life. That is really good. Genuinely impressed with that. That's, you know, I mean, it's not like a massive impressive thing or anything, but they've done it really fucking well. So hats off to you lads. Well done. Everybody's happy. Let's look at something in a big white tin. Endurance Plymouth. Yes, it's a slightly rusty, not really, it's fake tin. Exceed the limits. Expedition Endurance Plymouth. Yes, this is a special edition of Tomb Raider. Wouldst thou believe it? The uh, reboot that I quite fancied the look of, but then I saw a lot of um, footage and it just seemed to be the Lara Croft dying in horrible ways, and it kind of put me off a bit. But I will play it at some point. I've got it for uh, PS4, which is apparently a better version. And in here you get your very own plastic Lara Croft, all beaten up and slightly worrying, to be perfectly honest with you. Also you get one of these. Oh, it's a waterproof pouch for your phone or something. That's actually really um, potentially useful. Huh. Oh, thank you for that. It says Tomb Raider on it, so uh, you can pretend it's Lara's phone or something. Ooh, extra bits for the figure. We have Echo, and also we have a shotgun, one of those crampon things. I said crampon. A pistol, and various hands for doing various different poses. Oh, that's quite nicely done. Oh, and the bow. Infamous bow and the arrow, and some sort of uh, instructions. Oh, this is get the downloadable content. Oh, great, you can download some more weapons. And something else poking out. What is that? Um, uh, oh, soundtrack. Whoopee! Right, I want to have a look at this. I do like a good action figure. It's nicely made. Um, very nicely made, actually. It's a sort of high quality bugger. Very, well, sort of an anime looking face on her. Not quite sure about that. Um, Oh, articulation's very, very good. One of the weaknesses of figures with good articulation is when they show skin, all the um, you know articulation itself looks kind of weird and makes it look like a robot, particularly the wrist joint, actually. Jesus Christ. That actually completely ruins the look of it, really, doesn't it? They can sort of get round that if the characters have gloves and that, but there's only so much you can do if you want the articulation and the character has flesh showing, I suppose. Ah, uh, well, swings and roundabouts. Oh, it's got amazingly hinged knees. Look at that. My God, contortion, also inhuman, but uh, fair enough. Well, that's a pretty good figure, if you want a Lara Croft figure. I would say that's the best one in that metal tin by a considerable margin. Ah, and now to end, we're going to do something I try and do each time, which is to show something that's not actually a collector's edition of a video game, thus making the title a lie, a filthy lie, and instead show something that they give out for sort of promotional stuff for games. I was sent by the nice people who make Surgeon Simulator. This dun, 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 is a noise that is musical and introduces human organ for transplant. Yes, I did a voice for their um, uh, advert for the iPad version of this game. And if you haven't played this game, go play it now. I think it's a free version online. It's a good laugh. You've probably seen gameplay videos. And yeah, I got sent this rather nice thing from them. Oh look, it's going to be full of stuff. That's disappointing. Anybody else sense the dichotomy here? I think this is a generic thing that Think Geek sell. I'm not entirely sure on that. Although, I must admit that hint has been rather strengthened by the fact it's got a Think Geek tag on it. <laughs> anyway, what's inside? I'm hoping organs. Oh, at the top we have, oh, just a little card with Nigel Burke, which is the character's name from it. I don't know why it has a character, so you kind of do it yourself. Oh, and a little, with compliments, love and kisses, the surgeon. Oh, thank you, lads. 
PS Lego Man is a USB stick. <gasps> wow, that sounds like some sort of spy code. Wow, maybe I can go off and kill some Russians or something. I hope not. I don't know any Russians. I don't think they want to kill any of them. So, t-shirts, fruit of the loom, and uh, I can see where this is going. It is a chest that has been opened up for surgery. Ooh, that's quite nifty, actually. I like that. And it's green. What more do you want? Oh, how about another one? Exactly the same. Both extra large, which is handy, unless you are a tiny little pixie. Also, oh look, a f oh nice, a fake wax um, seal there. So you can pretend you're in Game of Thrones. Oh, look at that. Isn't that marvellous? This certificate advises that Stuart Ashen have exactly got... If you notice, I'll just rub my finger on this, they've actually done it so it looks like it's been tipexed over when it hasn't. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that's a really nice touch to imply that uh, it's fake even in the confines of the game. We like... Oh my god, a stethoscope. Fuck, I think this is an actual stethoscope. Oh dear. Well, I wasn't expecting actual medical equipment in it. Um, yeah, these things are as dangerous as hell, to be brutally honest with you, because you can easily burst your eardrums. You don't realise how loud things get through the stethoscope. I'm not going to take it out and use it. But, um, hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you for that. I shall have a play with that later and destroy my hearing. Ah, some fake blood makeup. That's always useful for people who make videos, so I'm going to put that to one side. Also, we have... Oh god, there's something edible. Oh, no, that's just a tag on the bottom. Pad for the writings. Sadly, no pen. I love Barnardshire! Yes, there we are. There's a level, I believe, where you can actually do surgery in the back of a moving ambulance. And yeah, it pretty much ends up like that. Oh, it's signed by all the men. Ah, Oliver, age 24. I met him, he's a nice guy. I don't know any of these other people. I hope none of them are murderers. And Barnyard Shear Butcher's Tasty Heart. British meat. Hmm, yes. Hmm. What are the ingredients? Corn syrup, sugar from beets, sugar, dextrose, gel, there's a lot of sugar, oh go on then, let's try some. Well, that will involve opening it, which doesn't seem to be on the cards, actually. <laughs> Packaging by Fort Knox. Come on, come on, yes, we're in, we're in. Oh, blimey. Must be slab or something. Oh god, it's really slimy at the bottom, ugh. My whole hands are covered in, like, corn syrup or something, right. I'm gonna take a bite, it's slightly gloopy. Mmm, what? Mmm. What's it like? Um, slight sort of generic fruit taste. And thicker than you would normally expect sort of gels and sweets to be. It's not unpleasant at all, actually. Thank you for that. That's marvellous. I shall destroy my teeth with it later. And finally, in here, here we are. Oh, oh no, we have got pens. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Out you come. Yeah. Oh, and badges. Go you on know, then, have a look at the badges. Brain. Internal organs, including its stomach and lungs. Same thing with the rib cage on, and a heart. If only I had one. And three oh, three tremendous pens that look like syringes. Ugh. Always a bit creepy. These. I wonder if you scratch surgeon simulator off and frighten people with them. So now you can inject people with blood, drain cleaner, and Mountain Dew. Not entirely sure. Oh, you can recreate that scene in Terminator 2 where Sarah Connor escapes by holding it to a psychiatrist's throat. Marvellous. And here is the Lego Man that is apparently also a USB stick. That's not really that much like a Lego Man other than obtusely, but we'll give you that. This is actually really n quite nifty. Hmm, it's got really good articulation. I wasn't expecting that for something, you know, that's just a, apparently a USB stick. His legs come off quite easily. Ah, and that will have promotional materials on, which I shall never use because I'm an ungrateful bastard. Interesting. That's actually really nice. I might track down the company that makes these and hmm, hmm, plans afoot. Anyway, you sit down there, Mr. Surgeon, because that's all we've got time for today, because we've nearly done 20 minutes of this astonishing drivel. So, collector's editions of video games, don't do it. Unless you really like the thing, then maybe do it. But you'll probably have to import this from Japan like I did and it'll be expensive. Look, just do what you want, I'm not your bloody mother. Twitter.